I'm using three methods of raising the chicks at the moment. Um, I've got um, that one there near Orla. She's raising um, a chick by herself out in the open. I've got her in there. She's got seven chicks and she's raising them in the pen. And I've got those ones in the paddock inside a pen and they're, they're ones I hatch from eggs myself from an incubator. And they, um, they've been raised by them, they've just been by themselves and no parental help. So, it wasn't intentional, but I'm sort of checking to see, I'm learning which way is the best way of um, raising them. One thing I'm learning, um, so she's got, I feed her and her chicks in there, so she and her chicks have free access to the food that I drop in there without worrying about competition. Uh, this one here, she has to worry about the other chickens and rooster and um, there's a bit of competition, uh, a bit of fighting between them as to who gets the most food. Um, I think I'm going to have to increase my fodder production because now that I'm feeding a lot more um, and feeding, feeding them a lot more, I'm sort of, sort of having to divide the fodder between more of them. So I, I might double the production I do um, that I make for these chicks and chickens um, and same with the ones in the paddock they um they have their food just thrown in there they only competition they have is little birds that fly in and little sparrows who eat a little bit of food but apart from that um they got free reign on their food as well and they don't have to compete or they don't have to fight for food against their mum here's the um the mummy with her single baby and uh, this chick's going pretty well it's not as big as the other ones but it was born a little bit later it um it seems to be interacting with the other uh, chickens pretty well it's used to running away and getting away from them when they're eating and getting underfoot too much it is a little bit too complacent though when I walk around it I've got to be careful it doesn't get under my feet just looking in there, maybe it wants to go play with the little ones. But yeah, this one's going pretty well. Um, I um, I think she's going well and not losing a baby because she's able to protect this single chick a lot easier than the other chickens with their the other hand with her seven chicks. So this one just sits under her if there's a bird of prey around, she looks after it. Yep, goes pretty well. Now, of course, it was too much effort for me to try and put this one away with the mother. Um, so this is the pen. I'm going to move it again. They kind of destroy the ground wherever they go. As you can see from here, that was left there for like two days and I just ripped the ground apart. Uh, so this is the mummy um, with her babies. Oh, what are you doing? Back in there. She doesn't like to be in there, I don't think, but um, at least the chicks are protected. Well, hopefully they do something here. Usually they jump up on her back. Um, yeah, so these ones are in the pan with the mum. Uh, she seems to be showing them some skills such as um, communication skills and uh, how to eat and scratch and things like that. So she's doing a good job. Hola. Big dopey dog. Um, so she's doing a good job of, of raising them and they're protected inside this pen so I'm not going to lose any to any um, birds of prey. Uh, only problem is they don't have a lot of room to roam um, so, because they're in a pen, so they, um, they don't get as much playtime, I guess, as the one which is out by itself. Let's just stay here, see if one does this, I'll edit it later. There we go, look at that, 
See that? I jump on the back. It's weird. <laughs> anyway, these ones are doing pretty well. Here are the chicks that have been living in the paddock. So they've been living in this pen. Uh, they're the ones I hatched from eggs. So they haven't been living with a parent. Um, I think they've been doing pretty well. They, um... They don't seem to interact as well as the other chicks do. But it could be due to their age. Um, yeah, I think they're doing pretty well. They're eating grass. They're not scratching up as much as the other chick is. Which I think it's the hen that's doing most of the damage to the ground. Hey. And because they're used to me as their parent, um, they're a little bit more accepting of me. As opposed to the other ones who've had a, a hen with them all at times and, uh, they're not really used to humans as much. Like I can pick these ones up and they don't mind. Um, so I think having them by themselves, or having them confined to a cage is a better solution to make sure that they have um, good access to food without having to fight for it. And it also ensures they're protected from predators. Um, but it is more of a hassle because rather than just throwing the food in one spot I have to um, sort of put in three different spots now. That's the mummy one. That's her baby just on the other side of the cage there. Um, they're sort of picking on her today. She was sort of picking on them. She was telling them off for the food and then they started fighting her back. Um, yeah, so they're pretty happy. But I do need to increase their food production to make sure there's less fights. Can you see here? She's going over to the pen. She's trying to get access to the, some of that food. Oh, she's not happy with me now. Taking food from her babies. And then you get my dog who decides to come and eat some as well. Orla, what are you doing? That's not for you. Thank you for watching my video. If you'd like to know more, please go to littletazzyprepper.com.